The owner of this dog named Moose is grieving their beloved pet after Moose was shot and killed by an Inkster police officer. Happened after Moose's owner called 911 to report an incident he witnessed. Victor Williams is in Inkster tonight to explain what went wrong as Moose's owner spoke to that responding officer. While this dog owner is absolutely devastated, we're told by Inkster police that the battery in the officer's body camera stopped working just before all of this took place. But right at the same time, we're told that there was a man filming with the drone camera that caught everything. We want to warn you that some of this may be extremely hard to watch. They took my best friend from me. Four times they shot him. Brad Brock says his four-year-old Mastiff Moose was killed by an Inkster police officer just for saying hi. Everything just happened so fast. Drone footage from someone nearby candidly captures the result of Brad calling 911 himself for a fight at a nearby gas station on Michigan Avenue. Moose, who wasn't on a leash at the time, starts approaching his owner, and that's when things took a turn for the worse. He walks past another, another civilian and just loves it. It was just all hyper and happy. Mm -hmm. And then he walked next to me and they shot him. Inkster police insist the officer feared for his life as Moose is running towards him, but Brock says the dog is only trying to greet the officer. Instead, he was shot four times. Even after he was shot, he was still wagging his tail. He was still wagging his tail. He was just such a loving dog. As Moose lay there dying, all Brock could do was drive him to a local vet where he later passed away. He was bleeding out in my arms. And now Brock has lost what he calls his saving grace. Moose helped him cope through a motorcycle accident where he lost his leg. He's been with me every step of the way of my accident. And now I don't have that. They took that from me. <laughs> Sadly, Brock has to put all the pieces back together again, now being responsible for thousands of dollars in vet bills. I've got bills I've got to pay. I lost out on work. I lost my best friend. I lost my something that helps me get through life. And back here live, Brad says that he does forgive the officer who did this to Moose, but he is going to be talking to his lawyer. In the meantime, the Inkster Police Department did send us this statement, which in part reads, quote, the members of the Inkster Police Department are without question saddened by the loss of anyone's pet, and we send our sympathy to the owner. However, it is incumbent of pet owners to be responsible with their animals. In this instance, you had a pet owner who had a dog near a main thoroughfare with high numbers of both vehicles and pedestrian traffic without a leash and without sufficient control of the animal. Again, this investigation is ongoing. Victor Williams, Local 4. I'm sorry, just heartbreaking. All right, Victor, thanks.